Yo, 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 welcome. Hey. Q&A with your pastors. It just came on really quickly that time. Yeah, kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Thank you for joining us. Really Pastor Adam is texting us. Well, we normally have the microphone down flat. And, um, and it makes the cord flatter. Makes the cord a little bit flatter. But, Do we oh. want to make it down flat? I mean, we can. We're trying to get the boss as loud as we can. Oh, and so it being elevated like that helps? I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, Sound is difficult. If anyone would know. Volume is turned mm-hmm. all the way up. I mean, it's a proximity thing. We've talked about getting a spider clamp and a little stand so we can pull it up over here in front of you. Boy, wouldn't that be fancy? It would be fancy. We're going we're gonna to do it one of these days. Fancy. But I'm sure that's not the reason you've joined us today. <laughs> I'm not sure what the reason yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, we, we, um, we have a sparsity of questions. Is that yeah, a word? Very. A bit of a sparsity of questions, but the given the other things that we're working on, I, I prefer that because <laughs> we have some great problems that we're dealing with, and we do appreciate you helping us. Challenges, challenges. Though. Challenges while Oppor- we are opportunities. addressing s- Even. seating issues in our main auditorium, which we keep adding seats and sliding them forward and adding more seats and sliding them forward. So appreciate yeah, I, you. I actually saw in the first service last week a lot of people actually sitting beside someone. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate all of our auditorium hosts. You're doing a fantastic job. Miss Faith Baker has yes. been killing it. And then one of our Mike Johnson, ste- Mike Johnson yeah. stepping up, doing an yeah. awesome job. And then, of course, uh, we don't like to encourage her too much, but Danny's doing an okay job too. <laughs> but, you know, it's just. Um, great news. I don't know, all over Facebook last night, Danny, Barbara, they lost their dog. Yes. Oh. yes. He went off, didn't come back, and it's this big, gorgeous bloodhound, yeah. Roscoe. Mm-hmm. And I kept seeing everybody reposting it, and I was praying for Roscoe. She's posted. You found him. Jeff found Roscoe. He's fine. Oh, he was good. like on a wood pile or something, or on a hill or something. I don't know. I wonder, like, uh, I wonder why. And that is the worst. Feeling I mean, a bloodhound, I world. think, can find his way back home. You, you know. <laughs> you would think. But, but I, I was just so relieved. I told Danny it could Dan be a it was city a bloodhound, news. and he might have lost all of his powers. I don't know. <laughs> It's not a good feeling, though. I'll tell you, there he is. Oh, no. Speak of the angel. There, look at, oh, was he just stuck then or something? No, he's he, just standing there. He, Should I show him? Oh, I'm so glad. There he is. It yeah. looks like a war scene or something. It does. <laughs> That's what I said. It looks like a hill. What, what, yeah. what, it's probably mm-hmm. from the edge. Maybe they're clearing a lot. Maybe they're mining yeah. for gold. It's hard to say, Ross. It's hard to yeah. say. <laughs> but um, feel free. I'm going to go ahead and share and... Um, see if I can check out your questions. Let us know where you're watching from. And you can throw questions in there. We are going to be succinct yes. today. So you have a lot of other stuff going on. What happened? Your camera? It always, something? whenever I take my phone pops off, off, that little pops off there. Wait, well, there's us. Okay. Miss um, Annette. We got a question from Miss Annette, don't we? Yes. Well, and, and we do have room today for questions. So yes. if um, people online have a question, this is a good day. Good to throw them in there. Yep. Uh, good to see you, Miss Liz. I think we'll see you later. Danny Barber, I will tell you about it later. Oh. oh. About Roscoe. About Roscoe? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. It's private. I like their name. I know. That's, That's a, a very cool name. name. Isn't it? Roscoe. Yep. You wouldn't think that such creative creativity would come out of such an evil person, but I guess <laughs> Jeff probably named the puppy. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't even feel bad because she ridicules me. 24 7 <laughs> between my wife and Danielle. <laughs> uh, all right, first question. You want to fire away, Pastor well, Kim? Well, since Annette is online, let's put Annette's question. Miss Liz, see you a little bit, I think, hopefully. I'll see Joe. He's been, her husband is a, a trainer, and he's been whipping me into shape. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's good. You, uh, you could whoa, use, whoa, you could, easy. <laughs> well, I was going to say you could use some help, some incentive, some, some structure. <laughs> Some support. <laughs> you bought me a gym membership. What's next? <laughs> first, first he addresses that I got hair growing out no, of other places. No, no, no. You <laughs> take everything so personal. I said forty years old and up men in general. It was a very general statement. But what guy spends the most time with you? Uh, who just turned forty a little I while ago? 40, uh, no, I thought you were forty-two. Well, I mean, a little while ago, you know. <laughs> but who who is it? I mean, it's not. It's not. <laughs> well, you're meticulous. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has room for improvement, always. <laughs> you were giggling, though, when I made my joke about yeah, responding yes. to teaching. You, yeah, I can see you yeah, smiling. 
Uh, all right. Well, yeah, I do <laughs> like how he added to your benefits package that gym membership. Yes, that was nice. It was it was interesting. It's like no, buying all, your wife all, a gym membership. All I was implying by that is that some people really work better with um, accountability, a, work, a workout partner, or something yeah. like that. I have always been the Lone Ranger. Um, I just do better alone. I wonder if it has something to do with your personality, like the individual's you, you personality. You think that could be it? It, it? might be. So it's a giveaway. Huh? Well, but, but I'm, 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 just, I'm not a back-slapping extrovert. Is what <laughs> no, back slapping. <laughs> the most gregorious <laughs> individual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some questions here. Okay. we got people watching. Maybe All whatever. right. Inquiring minds want to know. Annette is a bit of an hi, artist. Hi from Miss Becky. Hi to Miss Becky and Miss Danny. Stop. I don't know what stop. Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. Amanda Brown, good afternoon. And Marie. Me too, Pastor Randy. Introver introverts rule. <laughs> Who said that? Annette. Ah. Whose question we will ask now. Now. She actually sent me a great TED Talk on introverts, which yeah. I oh, yeah? appreciated. Yeah. She did that to me. Yeah. Why? I think You're she shot at all three of us. No, because I'm. <laughs> I thought she emailed at all three of us. Oh, did she? Okay. Did she? I didn't she see did. it. Really? You don't want, um, because it's, first of all, it's good to learn. I like to understand the human psyche. But I also have several individuals to me that are I'm very close with <laughs> that are introverts. It happened to be. One, <laughs> two. And your wife. Three, being my bride. <laughs> you're, an, you're not an introvert. Oh, yeah. So. She masquerades as an extrovert. I function as an extrovert, okay. but I'm an introvert. I need well, alone time. I, oh, I get recharge. exhausted okay. after I've been with, me. with a crowd. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay. and, uh, and I process inwardly. Okay. You function as an extrovert in processing. Yeah. I'm a you, verbal processor. Right, and I'm an yes. inward processor. Which um, is now, I don't have to process verbally, but sometimes when I'm, when I'm jammed up, then, then it helps to do it. You know. mm -hmm. Sounding boards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sounding board. and it's like I'm not sure why I need another warm body there, because I'm not really concerned about what I'm saying to them. See, <laughs> we have we have talked. So there is there is a difference because I'm because because you will come in and talk. You'll come in and talk to Pastor Kim, and she can check email. Oh yeah, like she matter. when you were yeah. talking about your message the other day, she sent out emails to all the staff, and, and like we're all getting it. We see like you guys having a serious yeah, no. meeting, like they're, they're not. cracking up because they're getting an email from me when you're sitting in the yeah. office. And they're long, like, oh, he's just As long just as I see the person is still breathing <laughs> and conscious, but, it's like, it's like a, a message, a Sunday morning message. The opposite still seeing it. is, I have to pay attention when he's talking. Because I ask her questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, look, I'm, look, I'm looking. I'm looking. Like, for, are you listening to me? Because I get, I give so much. You know, I know how Celine Dion feels because you just give so much. Do you have a stiffness disease like like under her? No, no that's sad. That is. Oh, okay, she so can, let's. Hey, she can sing. Though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we can keep sing. saying. Hey, hey, wait. I have to insert something since you brought that up. Sorry, Annette. I was watching. Annette, we love you. Okay, some of you saw this yourself. Two weeks, I believe it was, back on America's Got Talent version, oh, okay. greatest people that ever were on the show. They're having that that version mm -hmm. of it now. Mm -hmm. They had this. I think she was. I think she was 60, 60 years old, a uh, lady from Canada who had won the singing competition for that show in Canada. Blew me away. I, 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 she I, good? I, 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 let me go this far. I'm, 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 I'm. Maybe, maybe the greatest female singer alive today. Wow. Uh, oh, my goodness. It yeah. was, if you can find it, even, her song online, it is amazing. What's now, her name? I don't know. <laughs> Better uh, than Jess? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> what was, what was One the little caveat. Um, she makes unusual faces as she sings. <laughs> but hmm. I'm telling you, thing. maybe maybe the greatest female singer alive today. Wow. And, and nobody. She, she worked with kids doing obscure things and just kind of singing, you know, here mm -hmm. and there. And didn't even go into the competition until I think she was um, 50 or 55 or something like that. Never took it that seriously. Unbelievable! You you just you won't believe it. You'll just sit there stunned. I mean, you're talking yeah. about Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. She she's she's in that realm and yeah. maybe maybe above. That's yeah, I gotta check this girl out. What's her name? Don't know. Uh, super <laughs> helpful. You've been really helpful. This <laughs> infomercial brought to you by America's, I don't know. America's Got Talent winners version. America's Got Talent Canadian singer singer. And, singer and she's a Canadian lady who's about sixty. All right. Yeah. Google all that. May just, I ask just a question Just blew me now? away. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Here we go, Annette. So she's been inspired to create a painting that's based on Revelation 22 to each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. 
the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. I'd love to get the real meaning and context of this passage as I feel it will help me develop the piece even more. Yeah. Is that her? That's her, man. Yeah, that's her. And again, you look at her and you can't envision what comes the out. The sound coming you out of her. Just, yeah. It will blow you away. You'll, you'll be talking like me. She may be the best singer alive. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, you know, when I saw that question, um, Annette, one of the things that it hit me is I, I'm not at a place right now where I think I can be real helpful with that. There are parts of that scripture that when I've looked at it in the past, you know, it's, it is obviously to some degree symbolic, but there's other parts of it that I think might be actual. And... And I'm not sure. For example, the healing of the nations, that's that's a peculiar uh, yeah. phraseology because you're in Revelation 22, the new heaven and the new earth have been created. Um, it's it's not an easy, you know, I might be overcomplicating it in my brain. Uh, it might be speaking forward in that, you know, the nations will experience ongoing health as a result of partaking of the trees. And then the question becomes, well, is, is the tree of life symbolic of that which we receive from Christ, or are they real trees that people actually eat from, as in the Garden of Eden and so forth? I, I, I think it might be kind of both, but, but, but I, that passage sort of ices me a little bit. I just don't know exactly what, what's happening there. You know? So Absolutely. I think anything that she draws that's going to look as actual, you know, like the mm-hmm. beautiful crystal river and the trees on each side, I, th- I think will, will work. And it's a really neat idea for, for a painting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, Annette's a, a real skilled painter, yeah. artist. So. It's one of those things, though, where you're trying to picture what that actually looks. Well, even even the Revelation and, five and the passage, you know? Revelation four in Revelation five, like the, the the throne passage. They, they make they make memes out of it that are like the most beautiful creature, and it's this <laughs> eyes and <laughs> wings and yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's like not. In my understanding of beauty, perhaps when my brain's <laughs> circuitry is all turned on. <laughs> you know? yeah. Awesome. We only had one other question. This is for you, Pastor Pete, because someone... And I have comments on that one. Go ahead. Oh, good. So there's some song called First Things First by Consumed by Fire. Touches the core of Pastor Randy's teaching that God's will is first... Follow him, not the ways of the world. So do you think the band and Pastor P could do this one? If not, it's okay, but it's a great song to listen to. And, oh, um, and, and that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Have you heard it? It's a really good no. song. It's, no. a, it's not a congregational song. It, okay. it, it's a song for you know, your personal listening edification as a Christian, uh-huh. but it's good. It's a good song. So people, people And the guy, the guy that sings it, he's, he can blow. He's good. Good. So we got the Canadian good. singer. We've got first yeah. things first. I got to go watch some videos. After I guess it's kind of like a first republic. Low oh, one republic. Sound, one, one republic. One republic. Yeah. yeah. It's too late. Yeah. Got a yeah that, now this guy's not quite. But but you'll, you'll see if you you. Yeah, I'll check him out. So people people well, can, good song. Very people good confuse song. the that song type, which you just said. The difference between a congregational song yeah. and yes. and like we, we would call it like a special music yep. or a feature. Mm-hmm. A congregational songs. Are songs that are singable by a congregation easily, yeah. and yes. and even there are several songs that I love that are really really cool songs. I have some other theories on songs. Those of you that know me know, Pastor Ray on the same page on this too. We want a song to be theologically sound, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I like a song to be uplifting. I don't. There was a season in worship music where, um, probably 15, 10, 15 years ago, where um, he. People were writing all of this melancholy worship that you would like finish singing, and you were just like, uh. <laughs> "I don't like that either." Um, and then I personally, which I think the reason it was so melancholy is because it began focusing so much on our present life, which I don't mind a little bit of that, but I prefer songs that focus more on God than than our situation, who we are. Again, I, I don't, I don't mind sprinkled here or there. Yep. Some we do, we do some of that. But when we start to make it all about our situation, it, I just think it's, I don't think God, if our goal is, is to be glorifying God with a song, I don't think he wants to hear about how hard our life is on earth. I just mm-hmm. don't know that that brings glory to his name. Again, I think for us to have some of that sprinkled in is okay. But that's generally the consensus. It, my thought process is it has to be singable, mm-hmm. right? And which people don't understand 
that not all songs are singable right. congregationally, whether it's the cadence of the song or the amount of lyrics in a song, which is the jab of the the artist that's that's writing music. It's a Christian artist, and he says, I write modern worship songs. I write modern worship songs. <laughs> I write modern worship songs. Because you're trying to have yeah, these yeah. little yeah. simple... Well, that said, Lou, eh, Lou, I, oh, me gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, Lou, I'm never that's a whole, sure what they were saying. That's a whole, that's a whole song. Everybody's like, man, that's an awesome song. Yeah. That would have been very congregational had it had some sort of lasting, had it been that's theologically true. sound, yeah. true. <laughs> focus on the transcendent. And yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, I think that was, that was a, little, a little bit, I should probably remove that. <laughs> um, I see there's any other questions coming in. Let's see who's, who said what. Uh, Miss Annette, I, was that okay? Was that a good, you get all kinds I of. Messages, calls coming important. in. Man, uh, I'm busy. Yeah, you're very popular. Miss Lit, oh, so Joe, Joe asked if I had done my workout yet. <laughs> I won't lie, in front of our entire church, or a chunk of it. Um, Miss Annette says she is also an introvert. Introverts rule. She thought she sent it to me as well. She didn't. Faith Great House uh, says she is also a verbal processor and an extrovert with a hand raised. <laughs> My sister in, in faith. Miss Annette believes that there's some ADHD at this table. And that our, our train needs to come <laughs> Who out. Who said that? Who said I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> You, you cut me deep. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, Mike Pugh, Kilroy checking in. Oh, I know what he's talking about. I go, apparently, the, their growth group used, or their group used my office the other day, and I open up the refrigerator, and there's a nice little sign there about, something about Kilroy. What did it say? What, Kilroy what was here. I'm is, not what really what sure. What is Kilroy? That's but like that was, an, a, a World War II era um, Name? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it? Sticks? Mike, help the us band, out. Didn't the band Sticks do something about Kilroy too? Oh, that could be. That uh, could be. So la last night, I just saw it again. My sh my button. I was wearing the. You, I have a shirt you like. It's got like the straps on the oh, side. Yeah. It's got like the pattern across it. Yeah, you got any it, zippers? You gotta have some. There's always three or four zippers on it. <laughs> Pastor Randy loves a zipper. But you never have enough zippers on. It shirt. has. <laughs> it has. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has. It snaps. Oh, and so in the I have, I have some of those in the in the course of practice as you burst out as I was ah. playing I didn't even burst. know but I'm walking around and you, I get you, somewhere and realize that, it's that oh. one two three buttons are down I'm like Glenn yeah, full see. on Glenn Kelly hamburger David Hasselhoff with a necklace I'm like man it's nobody that, said anything Faith that, didn't say nothing to me let me walk around like a fool it's that workout routine man you're hulking oh, out yeah you're hulking it's the out. pecs Joe you see the dance and make him dance. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to that's a double chin though when I did that. That's not good. <laughs> okay, Miss Annette, uh, Ashley, hello. Glad you guys are feeling better. Eric, what's going on? Man, we got a whole bunch going on. Kilroy checking. Did, does he comment on what Kilroy is? Does anyone know what this is? Yeah, I'd be curious. On Ashley yeah. Martinez, Annette is laughing at us. Tracy no, Walker, hello. Tracy, it was good to see your son on Sunday sitting in the front row. Did, did she know he was here? I didn't see him. He no. came up and gave us Jesse and I a hug. It was great to see him. Good. Oh, Kil oh, okay, here. Kilroy worked at a factory during World War II as an inspector. His boss said he wasn't doing his job. Man, every time somebody messages, I lose the place. Because that was the thing. Uh -huh. The signs would be put all over. Kilroy was here. Okay, and that's what he yeah. put in my refrigerator. <laughs> yes, that's what I mean, it was. Microwave, microwave. Boss said he wasn't doing his job, so he put signs up everywhere. Oh, that's funny. Now, I, I was not alive during World War II. I just <laughs> want to state that. But I came shortly on the heels of yeah. it. <laughs> uh, not a, this is from A.J. Markey. Not a question, but since you're talking about music, would it be cool? Uh, sorry, would be cool to see live SCF worship team songs on Spotify. Ooh, Ooh. I'm sure it's a ton of work and a bunch of people to make it. I'll, I'll tell you, AJ, at our at my previous place of employment of ministry, my last ministry assignment, we did did five live recordings while we were there, and it is definitely on our heart to do that. But you're right; it takes infrastructure and people. But we have some of the pieces. We just got to work out some technical stuff. But Super. We'll work that. If if you wanted some music from just Jesse and I, you can search our names and there's stuff there from us. Some of the stuff we do on Sunday. One of the songs Pastor Randy likes, like the, the what's it called? The upbeat. It's my, it's my own song. <laughs> You're talking hope. about the, the upbeat. The hope, hope, yeah, hope deal. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 All I could think of was a really yeah. deal well written yeah. song. Yeah. It's not yeah. easy to write a good song. Yeah. Every song, everybody that sings writes songs, but a song that resonates with a large number yeah. of people, it's very hard yeah. to do. I should do that one again. Yeah, more more follow-up. Todd off had given us what Kilroy means. Faith says, I didn't even see you, bro. Broke my heart, Faith. You were like a sister to me. <laughs> Chris says, there's, there's a song called Glory, Glory, covered by Bird 
that's very uplifting. Glory, glory. Hmm. Covered by uh, the birds. The birds? I'll check that out. I don't know what it is. Birds? As that's in Bob Dylan days? B Y R D S. Is that right? Like yeah, that's oh, Bob Dylan days. I don't know. I don't know, Miss Becky. Shoot it to me. Um, okay. Yeah. Everyone's saying Google Kilroy was here. Okay. So I guess it's an inside joke that we're not privy to. Yeah. Had we been around during World War II, it would Hey, be somebody stuck a song in there. Look at that. Uh, so no questions, huh? No other questions coming. Unless Nobody's we're very give you, inquisitive we're, we're, we're going to vamp here for a couple more seconds. As if we haven't been <laughs> this whole time. How, how is, the, how is the, the stage noise? Is it better? Dylan Gosnell, are you watching? Watching there? Hey, Dylan, if, you're, if you are watching, shoot me when you intend to do your, uh, your retreat, the time frame so that I can coordinate that series of messages with you. Good times. I shot you an email on that, but you're probably like Pete, and you don't, yeah, whoa, whoa, you don't whoa. answer emails. You I go by bishops answer. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just answer your text. <laughs> what makes you a bishop? I mean, is it like like once you have more than one ship, Biblically, you're, you're, you're biblically or biblically, in churches today? No, in churches today, who knows? But biblically, the words are used in a church. I was being, I, I, no, biblical no. elder pastor. I was not asking biblically. I was Boy asking main, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Uh, you know, yeah. Episcopos. It's Interchangeable. Yeah, T.D. Jakes is like when you have enough people that like what you do, you can name yourself anything. Whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, But you have not had any... I am Aspirations. not in Bishop, no, Bishop no, I'm not in the Bishop realm. No. Bishop feels like it has a nice ring to it, though. <laughs> Bishop, Bishop. We used to have Most a guy in the church named Bishop. Remember him? Last name was Bishop, right? No, his first name was, was Bishop, name? and his wife was from Russia or Kazakhstan or somewhere like that. You remember her, Ruth, Ruth and Bishop. Only vaguely. She was a producer back in her home country mm -hmm. and came here and. Married Bishop. Oh, okay. that, yes. Man. It's funny why I would hey, remember I, I that. Hey, I think um, we should mention what's happening on next Tuesday. Bible we should. Institute. Bible well, Institute. Bef bef before that, we do have a question. Oh, okay. good. Okay. Deep philosophical. Okay. Do pets go to heaven? I hope. Mm. I don't see why they would not, because they become such an integral part of our lives in this life. And if heaven is a place where, you know, our deepest heart's desires are fulfilled, I don't. I don't see why they would not. You know, now there's no scripture. Right. This is just based on you know what we understand about heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why I'm doing this a lot with my hands? Your hands hurt. She hurt. knows. Yeah, man, my hands hurt all the time. Mm -hmm. So basically, I was poking fun at your pain. No, no. I'm a terrible no, individual. No, I'm just saying it's it's embarrassing. I, I've developed this habit. Scraggly male facial peculiar. hair, <laughs> overweight, no. and and a terrible heart. No, man. You know you develop these habits, <laughs> and you don't know them because you're you're just trying to. You know, alleviate some pain, and next thing you know, you realize you're all the time going around like this or like this. Or, evil you know. person comes along, <laughs> and, and you're just working at your desk. At your vulnerability. <laughs> what did you say? The only thing my impersonation is you're a little more irritated with me. Oh, am I really? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Same thing like paying attention. That's what she says. Did you get that one? She's she's working. She's typing. Like in we're in her office. She's. Uh, I I don't pay things. attention. <laughs> And then I'll ask you a question, it's like silence. I'm like, what do you think? What did you say? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> See, you don't ask the question. Yeah, that's scary. That you just, disturbing. You just keep talking until it gets clear in your own mind, and you don't ever have to ask. <laughs> okay, speaking of music, perhaps we could reintroduce some catchy contemporary tunes by Toby Mac. Young adult teens really enjoy this. Todd, so this is a great question. This would fall into the category of music that at times is really good for special music, yes. but uh, at times, Toby Mac, I always feel like some, doesn't necessarily fit in morning Sunday corporate worship. My interpretation was a little off. I I, if I had warmed my voice up, we could have gotten there better. But yeah. there, there is some Toby Mac stuff that could work, Todd. If there's something you like, all joking aside, I probably get... I'm going to say five song requests a week. So send them. And I love, you know, Pastor Randy's the same way. We're always like taking in tons and tons of music. I'll, get, so. I'll put mine out there again. Remember the, the Phil Wickham one? What is it? Which one is it? It's the one, um, it makes you fall to your knees when you listen to it. It sounds a lot like Living Hope, but you hear, you hear it a lot now. Is it the one that you did back in the he day? Did, he just did it on the, on the what's the awards so for a, Christian music? A newer song? Yeah. <coughs> Man, now you got me. And he just did it on there, and it was, like, powerful. 
What was it? Well, I mean, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> look at my phone. Look Google, on my it. Phone. Google it. Google it. Google it. Someone phone. will find it. Victoria. Yeah, it's something heaven. It's got heaven in the name. It's a powerful song. I don't know what that oh, means, yeah. Miss Victoria. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is that the singer, maybe? Janique Fren 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 Fournier. Oh. That sounds like it could be her name. She's from Canada. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, yeah. once you hear it, you'll never forget it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That is that is the one. That's the picture okay. of it. Thanks, Victoria. Hymn of Heaven, Brandon. Hymn of is, Heaven, that's it. Is that, is that really what, what oh, you want to say? So that is a good tune. I've been I've been so sent good. that a couple times. Hmm. Actually, Worthy of It All is another good one. I'll tell you, we did two new ones last night. One is, I think... It's a little bit wordy, which is Virgie. It's Virgie. I think Cody Carnes wrote it, and then he recorded it with Belonging Company, and then Maverick City picked up and uh, picked it up, and it is it is like climbing the Christian charts incredibly fast. It's a song called Firm Foundation, and man, we give practiced me, it less. Give me a little bit. Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand when everything around is shaking. I'll stand it. That's his, an old hymn. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a different. It's a different, uh, different melody. I'll, 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 I'll pull it up. I bet you. it it's, is. It's mm -hmm. man. Um, we 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 were just we pick songs and then we kind of before we select keys we just throw them and tell the musicians, hey, listen to the song, be comfortable with it. I don't want you to practice it a lot and learn a line mm -hmm. and then it's in a different key and you waste your time. So we just familiarize ourselves and then we pick keys and kind of see how it feels singing it. And we were just like playing that casually last night and I don't want to be weird but like the presence of God was there. <laughs> it was it was it was wow. an art firm. So you introducing that to Sunday? We're not. No, this was the first time we'd ever done it. Okay. Uh, I I've, I've never sung it before either. Okay, here's it's he won't is the line in the middle of it. But uh I've probably it's been sent to me probably 10 or 15 times and I we joke that when you get one a song, a lot I of times, to it three times. I, I I can't I can't I'll, I rarely. You, you, have, you haven't listened to that one that I sent you three times. No, right? no, I haven't. But I've, but I haven't forgotten either. I haven't forgotten either. <coughs> um, it fits this series though. So if you don't jump on it soon, it's oh, a are you of, serious? Yes, I told you it's oh, perfect man. for this series. Oh. <coughs> but I don't care if you do it. <laughs> I mean, okay, here you go. Anytime I send something, oh. else, you're the, you're the final call. Oh, that's us talking in conjunction with the song. I was very confused for a second there. Let me mute it. This is from Foundation. Christ is my firm foundation. The rock Minor six, five. Everything around is shaking. I, anything that's talking about, like, build my life and... So this is him. I think he did it at the at the Dove Awards too. But it's a, a newer song. Faithful through generations. Faithful through generations. Love that. So why would he quit now? Fail now. He won't. That's it. And this is Ch Ch Chandler Moore. He's the lead singer for. Uh, he can. Woo! Yeah, he my, blew up out of nowhere. My wife really he jumps likes, the octave. Likes him. <laughs> Make a quest love on drums. Not really, I'm joking. Looks like it though, doesn't it? <laughs> Take it up. Well, we'll just stay down the octave. Uh, Jess and I are going to trade back and forth, I think. And let or Nick and Christine. We're keying it for both. So you can jump back and forth. Mm -hmm. I won't go up there. I, this ain't Chandler. This ain't Chandler Moore over here. <laughs> so, he won't. They're just staring at us looking at the computer. Yeah, actually, we ought to get back to whatever they may be <laughs> questioning or thinking. We are. We are. <laughs> 
guess is anyone hear. there? They're just looking at us, staring at now, us. Now they all know what happens when we don't have questions <laughs> that are sent in. <laughs> I just got 50 songs. Good they gracious. They also know what happens just in the middle of a meeting. And we just go, firm, here, So here, lots here. of people like Firm Foundation. Actually, uh, Miss Becky, Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone is one of my favorite songs. It's, yep. it's almost... 15 years old now, but it's still a great song. Mm-hmm. We recorded it back in the day. One of the first songs I recorded as a young worship leader. Um, love the new song. I'm not sure what that, which one that is, but awesome. The one you're not. Who are I'm your not favorite? Something. Oh, is that enough song? Um, here again. So that one's yeah. called. And then we we did um, the million angels fall. Echo holy is another <gasps> one. That's, that one, yeah. That's a banger. Um, yeah, the it. it Appears that that one is a, a big one. Please explain replacement theology. Okay, so there's two two actually mm. legitimate questions that we will answer here. Replacement theology and favorite biblical role models. Which do you want to hit first, Pastor Randy? I actually covered replacement theology a while back. Um, what I would rather do is address the question next week. I, I, I'd like to go back and review a few things mm-hmm. before... We'll I just give them high, high level and then we'll talk about well, it. Well, but I'm confusing it with two different... Two different things, and I'd rather not talk about it until I can be Let's crystal okay. yeah, clear. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm going to write that down. Yeah. Um, I mean, and we, then, did, we did address it once before, mm-hmm. and I remember there was then that I ended up doing a study. I, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the Kansas City Prophet movement and all that kind of thing, but I, I just want to make sure I'm not confusing that mm-hmm. with other, uh, just two, two, three different new, newer movements. So, okay. I, I, I so, so uh, I, I'll, I will... Tweak this question a little bit and oh, then wait a answer it for you. I know what you. they were talking about. Replacement theology, they might be talking about the notion that um, the church, church has, has replaced, replaced Israel. Yeah, yeah there, there's another one that comes from the Kansas City prophets, which are not prophets, by the way. They're, they're just people Heresies. that say they're prophets. Heretics. Yeah, um, yeah and, 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 and next and week. So, um, That's it. That, that was the high level. Okay. And then talk about okay. it next week. So is that the is that our? We but that's a, a rather easy one I can answer in a couple of sentences. Oh, okay. It, 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 it's not exactly correct. Um, very clearly the Bible says that God still has a plan for Israel. So the church in Israel, uh, they're not exclusive. They're, they're going to function simultaneously, particularly toward the end of the age. Um, so, you know, the covenant theologians, the, the hardcore Reformation people, you know, they think that uh, God is done with Israel. It's not so, mm-hmm. very clearly not so. And so... I didn't realize that was a tenet of uh, Calvinism. Mm-hmm. Or, um, yeah, very strongly. Reform. It, well, it, um <laughs> So the other one was, what are your favorite biblical role models? I'm going to pause it, oh. though, and I'm going to say, what are your favorite spiritual role models? And I think I can give them, I'm going to answer one for you, and you correct me if I'm wrong. Gee, I don't even, I don't even know. This oh, is I'm one not, of those questions about, you know, what's your favorite? Anything? Book of the Bible, what's your favorite? You hate that. Yeah, I, I, I guess biblical. I, the, the guy I find the most fascinating is Joseph. Because he didn't have a Bible to go by, uh, you know, he he just had a very. There's no condemnation. There's not one sin ever charged. Now we know that he was not perfect, but there's not one um, little even slight look at his life as just though. Just for people to know, Old Testament. Old Testament Joseph. Joseph yeah. People might be thinking Christmas. Maybe yeah, you, you pick him up. The story of what is it? Genesis, I guess, thirty, thirty-five, maybe thirty-six, somewhere. There. Anyway. Um, Joseph, not not the, the father of Jesus. Yeah, that's exactly no, what no. I was thinking. No, no, and I was no, thinking to myself, no, not him. Mm-mm. I guess there's nothing negative about him, but it's not a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's a very quiet figure. We don't. Yeah, I was, was, was going to no, start taking notes here in no, a second. <laughs> no, not that Joseph. No, you get you get 15 chapters of him essentially from 35 to Genesis 50. Um, and and what was the second part of the question? Well, he favorite tagged, something he made it I, I was gonna say your your favorite like spiritual mentors but I was gonna answer oh. that John John Wesley I think is one of your like mentors in the faith yeah I, I can only say that he's one of uh, I, I mean I've had through the decades now a, a lot of different ones. give us give us give us your top uh, five F- then. F- Finney Charles, Charles Finney, Finney always has a very very special place in my heart um, I'm not recommending all of his theology for sure but I love the way he thought uh, I don't love the way he <laughs> brought people before the justice bar of God with those messages, but I, it, it's hard for me to explain. But anyway, the Finney, justice bar of God. Yeah, he he was a lawyer. Fire and brimstone. Yes and no. Uh, Finney was he was just unique man. He was brilliant, but he was a lawyer, so he had a very legal, logical kind of a mind. But um, you know, I mean, it's a different era. The guys in the late 1700s, you know, and 
revivals were, were just starting to yeah. yeah he he was the catalyst for the big revival movement um he and asa mahan created the altar call mm-hmm. <laughs> people today think the altar call has always been since jesus day yeah. <laughs> they started it in the late 1700s there was no such thing as altar calls until then Responding. charles finney and asa mahan yeah mm-hmm. okay so that's two and I mean, would wesley uh, would wesley fall in the top five definitely wesley i think he might might be other than the apostle paul Little, little, maybe I mean, maybe the greatest Christian to ever live, ba- based on what we know about his history. Uh, Paul the or was John a Wesley? Paul the greatest, John Wesley being since Paul, perhaps. Now the thing we got to factor in is there's probably so many hidden um, followers of Christ that have done extraordinary things, and we never we know. never yeah. we never hear this side of eternity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I've, I've had others. Well, what were the things years. about Wesley that you really liked? Oh, I'll just go a couple minutes here. Um, well, first of all, Wesley's devotion to Scripture. When you read Wesley's sermons, and I used to have all of his works, Wesley's works, um, they're almost nothing but Scripture. But it's woven together, you know, with, with a coherent logic and so forth. The other thing was he was brilliant. I think he spoke four languages. He did more than 40,000 messages, uh, spoke, I think, in a couple of different languages. He, he traveled on horseback right, that's until, he was, until he was 85. That's wild. Wow. You ever ridden a horse? Yes, just a very briefly. Oh, our staff meeting, our staff, <laughs> staff retreat, retreat one time. One time. We and I loved went to it. Gettysburg, um, but it's not the most comfortable. It's yeah, not like no. a caddy. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Um, yeah. There, there's a lot of other reasons. Um, Wesley was he was unique. I mean, he the churches were decadent in England when he came along, and so he would go out in the streets and catch the mine workers as they were going to work and preach to them as they were going to work. And from there, he reached people for Christ, and then he put them into little groups. And the little groups, he gave um, a process. He said, okay, ask, your, ask each other in your groups mm-hmm. these questions, and that became called the Methods. Mm-hmm. And from that came Method- the Methodist Dist. Church. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> very, very smart. <laughs> and, um, uh, and it was a tremendous movement of God in England. And it started really good here in the United States, but then when higher criticism came in in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, Methodist churches, for the most part, went liberal. Changed. They uh, right. no longer believed that the scriptures were okay. So uh, not not in, liberal inerrant. politically. You're saying no, they began no. to get no, liberal in the higher criticism movement, which which said that um, we now know that the Bible. Uh, was written during a time when men were superstitious, and yeah. we, we now know mir- miracles don't happen. Yeah. So they, they strip out all the miraculous and the supernatural, mm-hmm. and they say, well, it's an inspired book, but there's other inspired books, yada, yada, yada. They, they even go so far as a lot of Methodist churches, people don't know this, the pastors of those churches, they don't believe Jesus really rose from the dead. Mm. They, they think it's a spiritual mm-hmm. concept, you, you know. Wow. So anyway, but, but wow, wow. There, okay. are, there are still Methodist churches, however, that are, in fact, they have a name Very for sad. the movement. Um, I don't know, back to God movement or something like that, that are Bible-believing. They are Wesleyan in theological approach, which I, I like Wesleyan mm-hmm. theology. I think it's biblical theology, not in its most strict forms, but but generally speaking, uh, as opposed to Calvinism, if you've got to look at the two. Mm-hmm. Wesleyanism came from uh, Armenianism, and, and Arminius and Calvin were contemporaries. Um, you don't hear as much about Arminius. Arminius was, was on target. Uh, at least 95 percent and then the wesleyans you know kind of took it a, a, a little further than arminius went but still good um, anyway i'll blab okay. on about so this that's, stuff that's, forever that's a couple of minutes that's you that's said that three. a few minutes ago <laughs> so give us two more oh gee oh. you, you well, see it, it was it was it was finney finney wesley wesley um when you tied finney to somebody else that started a bunch of revivals who i, I was not familiar with our our uh, Asa Mahan. Asa Mahan, well, Asa Mahan. Asa Mahan yeah, yeah, was no. just a real background figure. Okay. We, uh, know, Finney, right. Finney was the one. He Finney, worked with Finney, Finney was, or he was yeah. just, okay, yeah, they, they, Asa Mahan. A, Asa Mahan. Um, he, he, he wasn't, you know, with Finney all the time, but, um, you know, I've had so many through the years. I, I guess I look him up. I guess those two are the two I'm the most impressed with. Who else? When I just respond from the gut. Um, I have another one, but to say it now would be very... Non popular for people. Mm-mm. Okay, so he had some kind of moral failure, I, or uh, yeah, I think the if we're looking back on history for our era, and the and the question is asked, who had the most positive influence on the local church globally? Than any, 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 any. <laughs> oh yeah, man, sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I would say Bill Hybels, and, and I mean that. And, yeah. uh, you know, what happened or what didn't happen, I don't know, that's between him and God and all like that, but um, in my lifetime, and I think looking back, and, and I'm a bit of a bug on Christian history, um, he, he influenced was, the church in a positive way. Most churches today are influenced by him, and they don't, don't even, even know. realize it. Yeah. Don't even know. Well, he was plowing. I mean, he was plowing yeah. new territory, new ground, yeah. on yeah. how you present the gospel to those that aren't Christ followers. And like you yes. said, every every church that's re, that was every not, church that's, that's still functioning halfway today mm -hmm. and doing well, they've embraced those concepts of speaking in, in everyday language, for mm -hmm. example, you know, yep. to present the biblical truths. And, Cre creating a church for people that aren't churched. Mm -hmm. Like that are, church that he, he, did, yep. he mm -hmm. did. The thing, the thing that he uh, convinced me of is that y you, you, you can, if you put your heart to it, you can speak to a person that's never read the Bible in their mm -hmm. life, and you can speak to a person that's been a follower of Christ and gone deep with God for 20 or 30 years in the same message. Mm -hmm. you, you you can do it. There used to be this idea of ex exclusivity. You had to have a believer yeah. service and a secret service. No, that's not true. Yeah. If if you yes, Bill Hybels from Willow Creek. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, in, in modern times, you know, mm -hmm. and I've had lots of lesser uh, heroes through the years, but uh, well, even Rick, Rick Warren was, was another super Rick. influential yeah. guy. Yes. Yes. In, influenced. Us mm -hmm. uh, as an early he church, would, a lot. He would point back. Yeah, not to a real, brilliant guy. He would. Mm -hmm. he, he would. He would mm -hmm. say that a lot of his. I listen to a ton yeah. of early. Which what I like listening to is a, a lot of these, um, like for one of a better term, b big name guys. I like going back to when their ministry first mm. started. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that's where you like kind of can see yes. these flashes yeah. of, like what when God and not always the case, but, but like as God was speaking to them, they were they were writing like super inspired stuff then they you can almost get into automatic pilot sounds terrible but like not not as inspired i feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and that's what i like to listen to and you listen to his early stuff and you can not only hear hybels in it he actually references hybels mm -hmm. which is really cool yeah and people don't know for example andy stanley has become so popular today. well andy stanley said openly it was when he went to a Willow Creek mm -hmm. meeting and heard Change. bill hybels that changed his, changed his entire life. approach to ministry yep. yeah so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, um, one more. Last one. Oh. Pastor Kim's ready to go. I'm well, hungry. I don't know if I have any more. Um, okay, how about farther back? Like early church father? Hmm. That's a good question. Like Wesley era um, or before? I, nothing jumps out of me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, none, none of them really affected me personally. As, as big as? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to go eat. So because we love Pastor Kim and oh, everyone loves Pastor Kim. See, I had Kim. my sandwich before we See? came here, so I'm all relaxed. Mm. I have eaten. A lot of times you get tired after a sandwich. Yeah, I, I, I do sometimes, yeah, yeah but um, this one seemed to energize me. Oh, I, have, I have not eaten, and because I'm sitting close to you, I have a piece of gum in my mouth. So my dragon breath, I mean, because what will happen is this week, He'll launch into this whole thing about it, it won't it won't be facial <laughs> hair or weight your loss. Teeth and use a you know, if you're a man over forty, you, gotta, you need to keep make some this mitts product. You can. By the way, I'm totally joking. I know you weren't calling me out deliberately. No. Uh, <laughs> you know, you bring, you bring up you bring up you bring up a funny subject. Some kind of that's what it was. A little Freudian slip. We'll end we'll end on a funny note. I hope it's a funny note. But I'll bet you in the audience listening, we've all had this experience. There, there's someone, and we when we like the people, we love them. But when they talk, you try to maintain a certain distance, distance. and you're trying to measure how far will that breath travel before mm -hmm. it falls off. And they have a way, this person, of, of moving closer. You move away, and they move, it's like this dance. It's close, you're, close talker. You're, you're circling around. <laughs> but but the, um, the, the halitosis is something mm, yeah. that you're trying to ignore. It's real. You love the person. And you know that they probably can't help it, but mm -hmm. but it's real. <laughs> As a singer, you will notice everyone. I mean, I, both of you. I'm I'm like all right, speakers I, and singers. They both you, you do after you project for a long period of time. Yeah, you tend it to, comes up. I'm very see. conscious of it. I have gum everywhere. My wife gives all, me gum. It's all part of the fall, man. It's a reminder that we're we're mm -hmm. sinful and dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. floss them teeth. <laughs> floss and brush them teeth. You, you live longer. Yeah. You got to floss. Seven years. Them. All right, it's yeah, a just pain. so so we did touched on two things real quick, and we'll cut them loose. Um, Tuesday, 
is Q and A. Tuesday is uh, Bible Institute. Bible, Bible Institute, Institute yeah, on and, God's and, grace. And the topic is on grace. Yes, and, and I know that probably a lot of people think, well, I know everything there's no about grace. No, nope. well, you might, you might, but there might be some nuances that you might find helpful and interesting. Yeah. So, and with that, you don't need to register unless you want to use child care. Child care, you must register then, fcfchurch.com slash events. We're doing child care for that? Man, we're mm-hmm. awesome. But we're already at like 50-some kids. I, wow. I probably shouldn't have said and, and it starts at 6.30. 6.30. And goes to the main auditorium. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last Bible Institute? I don't. Questions after Questions, yeah. No, no, I wasn't even right. referencing that. Personally, we're getting ready to start the Bible Institute, and one of the projector converter boxes went down. I had to oh. drive. Do you remember this? Mm-hmm. I had to drive the lift in, go up on the lift. Oh, I do remember now. Right yes. before and fix yeah. it. And I asked you, I said, yeah, you got two man. options. Option one mm-hmm. is we go with that one projector. Option two is I pull the lift in here. Both have downsides. Which downside would you prefer? And you were like, go ahead and knock it out. So we <laughs> yeah. did. We did. Good time. Yeah, That's not going to happen this time. No, nah, you're, you're the man, though, man. You can, if, it's, if it can be fixed, you can fix it. <laughs> nah, you're the man. We love you, Pastor. Andy. You're very, the man. Very you're special. The man. Mutual admiration. You're the man. You're, you're the, the girl. Man. You're the girl. <laughs> All right, uh, we do have some other questions coming in, actually. And then this Sunday, that was the last thing we're going to end with. It, it's about the, the dominance of worship. Um, yeah, I, I, I can I, be honest, mm-hmm. I think this one is going to be one of my favorites. I, I thought I the first one was really good, but when you were explaining... But I blew it last past week, is what you're trying to say. No, <laughs> no, no, that one... Bo, Bo, was it, are we three in? This is the third this, one. This will be the third. Mm-hmm. First, yeah. first, sec, first, it was the first time I heard you kind of speak like that. And actually, last week, you were talking about a lot of things that are near and dear to my heart on worship. And so the... the I should hope so. The, the, <laughs> like the, our emotional response to worship and how yes. people yeah. respond. They, they are worshiping, don't realize it. Like that was yeah. super good. But the connection of our heart, mm-hmm. the expression of our heart, and our heart is our treasure, and that whole drift. I really, it's a simple concept, but it's very good. Man, you're putting pressure on me now. Mm-hmm. I, hope, I, hope I, I, I gotta go study. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really, really good, because it's we, we ignore that. We ignore those. Yeah, it, it's, um, and I've touched on this a little bit in the first two minutes. It, it's easy for us to actually be worshiping persons, places, and things, and not even know it. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll we'll try to unpack that and show how how does that happen, and what are the components that cause it, and that sort of thing. And so we'll see. And we're doing one of your favorite songs. Hopefully, worthy. I won't disappoint you. No, he'd be awesome. <laughs> Which one? Wor- worthy, not is he worthy? Mm-hmm. We worthy. do those two kind of together, but, yeah, but yeah, worthy is yeah. one of his favorites, and we're tying. Yeah, great Been song. using this kind of the themes for theme songs for this series, so, along with the other one that I need to listen to once or twice more. Apparently. <laughs> All right, we at love you. At least twice more. At least twice more before it, before it takes yes. root. Firm foundation. Um, join us on Sunday, 9-15, 11-15. Fantastic stuff going on. Love our auditorium hosts. Come early. Um, please don't mind sitting close to somebody if or, you can. Or if it wouldn't bother you, on if you're normally a first service person, and it wouldn't bother you for once a month to come to second service, that might be, that'd be, yeah, that'd be a good that'd thing. That'd be great. That'd be great. Encourage you to do that. But... God's doing something special. Fun to be yes. a part of it. Amen. Worth ship. Yeah. There you go. On Sunday. We love you. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.